Hello, everyone. Welcome. So, today we'll be using the roller, we'll be using the peanut if you have it, and a lacrosse or hockey ball. We're going to get started very shortly. So, make sure everyone is good to go. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Perfect. Welcome, Eric. Welcome, Adrian. All right. We start some nice deep breathing. Uh, oh. breathing. Breathe out. Starting in three, two, and one. Breathing in. So breathing in. Two, one, and breathing out. Let's go for four more. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Two more. Breathing in. And your diaphragm. Expand your stomach. Expand your ribs. And exhale. And one more, breathing in. And breathing out. Excellent. From here, we're gonna start with the glutes. So we're gonna take either our foam roller or a lacrosse or hockey ball or a tennis ball. Either one of those is fine. So we're gonna take a roller. We're gonna have a seat on it, like so. From here, whichever side you're targeting. So for me, I'll start with targeting my left glutes. So my left leg is gonna go on top of my right ankle. That looks like is my left cheek is on the roller. My left ankle is on top of my right leg. My goal is to roll up and down, right along my glute. If you don't have the flexibility to do this, that's okay. You can have your ankle at your shin or ankle to ankle and just do the best you can. That's why I'm there. Now, if you don't have a foam roller, you can just use a tennis ball, a hockey ball, a lacrosse ball, whatever kind of ball you have lying around. And the position is the same. You place it underneath that target glute. So then you raise that leg as high as you can and just massage and work right along that whole glute. Excellent. Keep going. Fifteen more seconds. We're gonna breathe through your stomach the whole time. Slow deep breaths. In five, four, three, two, and one. Switching sides. So I'm gonna go back on the roller for the other side. You can use the ball. You can use whatever you have in line here. So I would encourage you, if you want extra form tips, or if you find one of these massages or releases aren't working for you, feel free to put it in the chat or take yourself off mute for a sec and let me know. Or better yet, turn your camera so I can assist in any kind of landmarking or any difficulties you're having. Hey, we're really happy to assist. Slowly massaging and working. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, we're going to do our quads. So here we can use a roller or we can use a ball. I do recommend for this one if you have it. So we're going to start with the roller above our knees. Like so. And then try to keep our legs relaxed. We're going to roll right along our quads. 
So you're just massaging deeply all the way through. We're going to be here for about two minutes, so quite a while. We're going to slowly massage in and out, massaging the quads. Now, if you don't have a roller, you can't just use the ball. You just have to do one leg at a time. But the position is the same. Just slowly massaging and working through as best you can. Deep breaths. You have about a minute and 15 seconds left, just slowly massaging. If you want, you can even lift your legs, turn your feet out, or turn your feet in 45 degrees, or keep it neutral. Whatever works for you, about a minute left, just slowly massaging right along your quads. Slowly working through. We're almost there. And five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We are at next. So here, we have two options. We can use the roller or we can use the peanut or ball. Either one is fine. I'll show you both. The peanut, you can only do one leg at a time. You're going to place your calf. Right in the middle in your goal. So it's underneath my calf right there. You place your calf down, lift your hips up a little bit, and you roll back and forth like so. Really massaging into that calf. You have a roller, the same thing, but you have the option of doing both or just adjusting your angle a little bit. So here, you can still do one leg at a time like this, just massaging right on the calf. Or if you find it too much, you can just do both. And work. We're going to be able to adjust. So here I'll be doing one time. And for me, my calf has turned a little bit off center. So I'm working just the other side of my calf. I find that's better for me. But I want you to explore. Feel free to work with your toes turned in, your toes turned out, whatever angle works for you. Just working through our calves, just massaging any kind of tension. Especially when doing a lot of classes. The calves might get tight from any kind of jumping, lunging, all that good stuff. So about 15 more seconds on this side, and then we'll switch sides. Just slowly massaging through, really digging in and working. About 10 more seconds here. 10. Nine. And five. Four. Three. Two. And switching sides. You can, use a, you can use a foam, you can use a peanut roller, whatever you have in line here. So for me, I'll be using the roller, but you can use whatever you have in line here. For me, I'm taking my foot and angling it towards the outside, because for me, the left side or the outside of my calf tends to be tighter than the inside. But feel free to experiment and explore. Maybe you're tighter on the inside, maybe you can to pronate or supinate, whatever works for you. Definitely take the time to explore your body, see what hurts, see what feels easy, so you know better for next time. About 50 more seconds here. Slowly massaging, and we're going to do any kind of tension. You can move a bit, you can move a lot. For me, statically, kind of just pressing into it deeply works for me. Here with the difference. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, we're going to do the inner thigh. I'm going to show you standing, but you're going to, you will be doing it lying face down. So I'll show you standing first, then we'll do it lying face down. So standing, you're going to start with your leg up like this, 90 degrees. So from the hip, out and down, the ruler is going to be on the inside of the thigh. 
Rolling from your knee all the way to your groin, back to your knee. So I'm going to do that, but face down, like this. So I'm here, my leg is up, so my knee is up like this, it goes to roll my groin back to the side of my knee, massaging and working through. Key part here is there's a tendency to take your foot and kind of tuck it behind you. Don't do that, keep it in front. So as you go back and forth, your foot is in front of the roller. It doesn't rest on top or tuck behind. I'll show you from the side. Keep going for at least 20 more seconds here. Just really trying to massage and work right into that inner thigh. Just really working to any kind of tension. You remember class yesterday? Uh, it was going to be a little tight from all the sumos and everything else I did yesterday. Just really massaging and working through any kind of tension. Switching sides. So your knee up nice and high. I'll show you from this side. Knee up. So roll up to your hip at 90 degree angles. So straight up from the knee, then down. And as you roll back to front, make sure that foot stays in front of the roller. It doesn't tuck on top or it doesn't tuck behind. You're not doing this. Your foot is in front. On the floor, we're floating is fine but it's in front of the roller, it's not behind. 30 more seconds. actually going to be for our hip flexors. So that looks like we're going to do a little bit of landmarking. We're going to find your hip bones. If you're not sure your hip bones are, what you want to do is you want to start, give your fingertips, start at your belly button. And here, reach up to the side and a little bit down. So you feel almost like a little bit of a bony curve right along here. If you're still stuck, just take your hands kind of like a karate chop motion, put them on your hips, bend forward, and remember your hands can kind of just fit right along that crease where, you, where you've been through, that's just about where your hip bones are. So with that line marking, if you remember where that spot is, you're gonna put that right on top of the roller, and your goal is whichever side you're not on, you're gonna lift that leg and use that just to ease off of it. So here, whichever side I'm on, for me, I'm on my right side, and I'm tilting my hips 45 degrees, so I'm not fully on my side, I'm not on my side, I'm 45 degrees. My goal is to work up and down my quad and a little bit into my hip flexor and massage along there. Now, if you're struggling with this line marking, uh, let me know in the chat or turn your camera better yet. I'm happy to assist you with the line marking. But keep going on the side for about 20 more seconds. You want to focus, you want to feel the top of your quad and in front of your head. Make sure you have your stomach. You want to be in your stomach and your ribs. You want to be in your quad, between your leg and your hip. And make sure you're not on your side. Okay, you don't want to be flat like this. You want to be on an angle. Five, four, three, two, and the two sides. We're 45 seconds here. So we can muster. Throw so those hip flexors. Landmark if you need to. And we're going down. Really deep. About 30 seconds left. Massage into any kind of tension in our head. 
20 more seconds to go. Move as much or as little as you like. 15 more seconds. We're going to breathe deep the whole time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Easy off. All right. From here, let's do a little bit of, of uh, middle, to, middle to upper body. We're going, do, we're going to do our middle back first. So I'm going to take the roller. You're going to start at the middle of your back and work away from the middle of your back to about the top of your shoulder. Make sure you're not going to your neck or your head. I'm going to stick from the top of the shoulder to the middle of your back. So with your middle back and the roller, you cross your arms like so, like this, or you can support your head behind you. That's fine. And your goal is to roll up and down. And massage right along any kind of tension. So you can support yourself by crossing your arms, or if you find your head is a hard time, you can support your head like this and massage through. You're here for about 25 seconds, so take your time, massage into it, dig into any kind of tension in that low back. So keep going. So what that means is you're going to take your roller, you're going to stick your arm out like so, and your arm can either be just out like this, or your hand is behind your head. It doesn't matter as long as that elbow is high. So my arm is extended, my arm is behind my head, my elbow is high the whole time, my elbow doesn't come down. Once my elbow is up, I'm going to lift my body right along my lat. If you're not sure where your lats are, I'm going to go from behind your armpit to about midway down your torso. Work on that whole group. Make sure you're not on your side like this. This is just going to be painful for your ribs and be painful for no reason. You want to be on a 45 degree angle. So you're on a slant. You're not directly on your side. You're not directly face up. You're right in between those two on an angle. Very key. 20 more seconds here. Just digging along our lat. Through my class yesterday, he's got a lot of attention from all the rows and pullovers we did. So you're really work through those and massage them. And you can attention on their spine. If you find this is tough, you can also do this against the wall just to modify it and take the pressure off. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switching sides. Simply just move the roller, take the ball, same thing, have the arms sticking out, 
and we'll just massage right on the front of the chest area. This can also be done against the wall, like so. And that's fine too. So whatever we have lying around, the roller, the ball, massage them right on that whole area for about 10 more seconds. 10, nine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Other side. What 45 seconds here? So you're taking the ball and just massaging right along that part. You know, work into our pack, work into our shoulder. And if you don't have a little ball, the roller is fine too. Just working into any kind of tension right along our pack and right along our shoulder. Massaging deep into there. If I just press and hold it in a particular spot, that's fine too. Great, for 10 seconds, 10. Nice. Just massage deep into your pack, any kind of tension. You have lying around in four, three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, we're going to lie face up. If you have a roller, we're going to lie head to the tailbone. If you don't have a roller, we're going to a short roller, just support your head and upper back. We're going to go for a passive chest stretch. So lying face up. Make sure your tailbone, your head, Line and roll like this, palms are face up, and you're gonna stretch right along the chest and shoulders. So you do have a few minutes left. If you have any requests, feel free to put them in the chat. If not, we'll kind of do a little bit of uh, more upper body. If there was anything you want to do in particular today, feel free to post in the chat or just say it out loud. Either one is fine before we move on to our final one. We were here for about 30 more seconds, just slowly working through any kind of tension in our shoulder. And measure your palms are face up the whole time, just gliding above the ground, trying to stretch along here. Slowly working here. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. From here, we do a little bit of the upper trap. Do double check if anyone said anything. Nope, oh, no requests. All right, so let's get into the upper trap here. So here, we're going to take a ball or a peanut. I don't want to sign. And we're going to start face up. We're going to place the ball underneath our trap muscle. So make sure it's not behind your neck. It's behind a little bit behind your shoulder, a little bit behind your upper trap. From here, all we're going to do is just gently sway your arm from the back or side to side or draw circles. Any one of those are fine. So here, we just gently kind of flowingly just wave your arm to the back. You can go side to side, kind of wave in and out. Or if you want, you can just draw circles. Just nice, easy, gentle movements with the hand. And our goal is to massage our upper traps, or those muscles where if you were to shrug your shoulders, it's those muscles that kind of perk up. It's our, it's our upper trap muscles. So you're here for about 40 more seconds, just slowly working through. Oh. 
Slowly massaging through. Do the same thing, but on the other side. Just slowly working our arm up and down. You can draw gentle circles. You can move your arms in towards your chest and then out towards the side, whatever works for you. About 35, 40 more seconds. We're really taking our time to massage and work it. Fine. We're going to place this in between your spine and your shoulder blade. So what that looks like, we're going to place the ball. Here. What that means is if your spine is in the middle of your back, I want the ball off to the side. So we're going to place that between behind your spine and your shoulder blade. And your goal is to hug yourself as much as you can. And you're going to work that ball right into that spot. Now, if this is difficult on the floor, that's fine. You can use the wall. I'll show you both. So the floor is there. You want to use the wall. Same position, you place the ball right in that spot. And here, you hug yourself and you work up and down right around that group. So small squat, just massaging right into the area. So on the floor, or on the wall, either one is fine. Now about 25 more seconds here, just really digging that ball and massaging into our middle back. Make sure it's not on your actual spine. It's off to the side in between your spine and your shoulder blade. We never want to press the ball into bone, but press the ball into muscle. It's very key. About 15 more seconds here on this side. Just slowly massaging into whatever you have going on there. You can also see in a particular spot like me, if you have a particularly tender area or a trouble area, that's fine too. In five, four, three, two, and one, switching sides. And same thing here, and make sure the ball is between your spine and shoulder blade. You can also use the wall if you find the floor a bit much. We're going to try to hug yourself, slide your shoulder blades forward, and expose as much of that back muscle as you can. Remember, you want to be in your muscle, not in your bones. Don't press into your actual joints, press into the muscles, and work through any kind of knots or any kind of tension in your muscles. So about a minute left. Just really digging in and working up and down, or just sticking to the same spot and slowly pressing and massaging it. Whatever works for you. If you're having trouble or you're not sure, just post in the chat and I'm more than happy to assist in any way I can. About 30 seconds left, just really massaging and digging in. You can still do this one from the floor. 
I'll show you both. I'm just going to quickly grab the other one. Okay, so this is the so here, if you have a peanut roller, I want you to take that with your yoga block, place it on top like so. So you're making a little bit of a stand like this. You're going to place that on your mat. You're going to to lie down with your neck right in between. If you don't have a yoga block, that's okay. You can still do the same motion. The only difference is that you have to use your fingertips like this just to hold it in place. That's the only difference. So here, taking it behind. If you don't have a yoga block, use your fingertips, hold it in place, and just gently massage up and down. Now, if you do have a yoga block, it tends to hold it in place, but it makes it a lot easier. Now, if you don't have a peanut roller at all, you just don't have one of these, uh, I did make a video on how to make it. But you can also just use a tennis ball and do one side at a time. So that looks like you got a tennis ball, you place it, flip it off to the side, and just gently nod your head up and down and massage. You can work with any kind of whatever you have, whatever is available. If at any point you're not sure, put your question in the chat or say your question out loud. I'm more than happy to listen. Now we're here for about another minute and a half. So taking your time, just slowly nodding up and down, just gently massaging through any kind of tension or whatever you have in my hand. Excellent. Just slowly massaging. Once again, if you need assistance, just post in the chat or say it out loud. And we're gonna have to give you alternatives or help you out. Think slow, deep breaths. About 30 seconds left, just gently massaging up and down with whatever you have going on. You want to be gentle with this. You want to be forcing your neck back. You want to be slow and gentle. In five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. From here, we're going to come up. We're going to go for the same five deep breaths. Just put ourselves in a good in a good spot. So here, I want you to sit any way you're comfortable, or if you want to stay lying down, you can keep lying down, that's fine. We're going to breathe in for five seconds and breathe out for five seconds. So starting in three, get comfortable, two, and one. Breathing in, five. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's try three more. Breathing in. And breathing out. Two more, breathing in. Breathing out. And one more, breathing in. And out. And three, two, and one. Thank you all for attending today. I really appreciate it. And of course, for next time, if you have any requests or any muscles you want to massage or through, definitely let me know. I'm more than happy to customize it to you. Thank you so much.